Hey guys, I am bringing you a colouring page from Jasmine's Patreon um, special membership images that she does. So being a patron you receive a image or two images a, a month and you pay $5 to be a Patreon patron. So today I'm going to be colouring in one of those images. This is the second image that she did bring out in or has brought out in the series so far. So it is quite quick, I'm not going to go through everything in full detail. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be colouring up Jasmine's image. I'm going to try and guess how to say this. Miel Gros La Calavera. I hope that's right. It probably isn't, but I gave it a go. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this one. I'm going to be using some skin tones uh, that are darker than uh, I would normally use. And um, this one was quite quick. I really enjoyed doing it. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it too. And let's get started. So if you do want to obtain this image, you do have to be a patron of Jasmine's Patreon um, there and it has to be the five dollar tier to be able to get the free coloring pages So I'm just going to quickly run through what I'm doing here for the darker skin I am going to be using Copic markers express it blending card and I've also got some of those Carbothello uh, chalk pastel pencils as well um, So I'm just going to run through these colors really quickly for you now So again, excuse the cat in the background there. So I started off with uh, E39 to do the shadow areas. So I'm making the middle of the mask section there a little bit dark and extra eyes because that's where um, there's a going to be a shadow or a dip where she's leaning over a little bit there. Um, I'm just filling out some shapes and patterns in the chest area with that too. And I'm blending that one out with E25. Now I do run out of E25 pretty much at the start of doing this. Um, so I did swap over to E15. So it doesn't really matter too much as long as you're just going down a lighter color to the next one. So um, I'm just blending out that with, as I said, the E25 now. So all of the links to Jasmine's Patreon, I'll put everything um, that I use and those links down in the description in the video as well. So I'm um, just was, uh, checking to see if I had any more of that color there but I didn't so I'm swapping over to the E15. Um, so after E15 I'm going to blend it out with E21 and I'm going to use a little bit of E31 as well. So there's a couple of different colors through this to get um, the right look that I was looking for. Uh, I wanted it to have uh, darker toned skin rather than white which I usually would go for uh, or peach or cream. Um, so I've just gone ahead and filled out this section with the E15. I filled out most of the area with this and I'm not worrying about the blending too much because I'm going to use those chalk uh, pastel pencils over the top. Um, so once I've done that one, I then swap over to E21, which was actually really quite light and it desaturated a lot of the color. So I did come back over again with E31 to put a little bit of um, a tanny sort of color back in through it. So I guess the E21 is putting a little bit of pink tones through it. So it's now Friday and I still haven't received my Mermaids book. It still looks like it's in transit from LA to Australia. So I'm hoping that I will get it early next week um, and I'll be able to do an image for you out of that one and a quick flip through as well. So I'm just finishing off with that E21 now and I'm going to swap over to the E31. Uh, so I'm going to go over this with that. I'm going to bring in some orange tones as well. So I'm going to use after this one, I'm going to use some YR12 and then I'm going to go over it again with that E31. So in the middle there, in her the darker parts of the eyes there, I was getting a little frustrated um, because the ink was really building up quite a lot in the middle there. You can see it gets quite shiny there. My uh, E39 marker, I don't use it very often. I think the ink was a lot thicker in those areas. So in a little bit, I do actually smudge that out again with my finger. So um, I've just done the YR12 and I'm coming back over now with E31 again to just uh, take off a little bit of that orange tone. I'm going to use a couple of grey colours through as well. So I've got W2 and I'm just going over the entire skin. So I'm sort of greying it off a little bit. And I will use some W0 as well um, in the highlighted areas there to lighten that up a little bit. But I, 
I don't, I don't know why I decided to use it. Uh, grey seemed to go in nice and well. Being a warm grey too, they've got the uh, brown tones to them. So um, it worked in quite well. And it helped me sort of to blend out those eye parts a little bit there. And you can see I'm just smudging that out a little bit with my finger because I wanted to take off some of that ink. So my finger got nice and brown after doing that. But it did actually lighten up that area there and it reduced some of the ink build up as well. So I've just gone over the whole skin with the W0 as well. So it is looking quite good, but I wanted to smooth off some of those shadow areas and especially on her chest there where there's a really big color difference between the shadow area and the uh, highlighted area. So I'm actually using quite a dark um, Carbothello pencil here. It's number 635. I just got my color chart out there that's Bista so 635 and I'm just going into all the dark areas and I'm just smudging out the color uh, so that I can blend over the next color over the top nicely so it's just like uh, I've done a dark section and I've just smudged it with my finger out to the lighter section there and uh, what it's actually going to do is it's going to just smooth off this blend so um, that you can't see the huge uh, difference between those shadow areas and the highlight areas but it, it comes out as a nice graduation rather than being such um, a sharp sort of a swap over of each color so I'm just finishing off that now I'm going to move on to 625 which is burnt umber and I'm going to go over the top of those areas uh, and bring out this color a little bit further out towards that highlight area so you can see that the that how I'm gradually uh, blending that chest area out and it's starting to look a lot more smooth and it's starting to look a lot more like uh, that she's got a really larger shadow there in where her neck is um, and also around her eyes and things like that is starting to look a lot more smoother so I'm bringing in another color now so I've got 680 which is dark flesh tint and I'm doing that over most of the highlight area I am going to bring in uh, some 692 which is golden ochre light and that's just to lighten off and finish off those highlight areas there so as you can see that blend is absolutely beautiful now it's nice and smooth um, I just wanted to show you there too that you can use a cotton bud you don't have to use your finger um, but yeah so it does look absolutely beautiful I had to uh, use the electric eraser to uh, rub off all of the smudging that I had put over the rest of the picture there as well so I'm using Jasmine's original image as um, inspiration for the coloring that I have used so I've gone on and I've put in some RV99 into the shadow areas and I'm blending it out now with RV29 so I'm just going to use RV20 colors to blend that out even further now so I'm going to use uh, RV25 RV23 and RV21 and just blend it all the way to the middle section of the highlight areas that I'm doing so I'm just finishing that part off there now so you can see now that there's a lighter shadow area there I'm going to come in with my white uh, watercolor opaque paint at the end and I'm going to put some highlights through those areas so I actually did do this image twice uh, the first time I did it I missed quite a bit of the image and because it was so quick I just redid the image for you um, so I have got two copies of it finished now which is it that's fine they're just diff they look slightly different um, so I'm coming in with E35 and I'm just putting some brown tones into the skull here um, it is going to be gray but um, the brown is really quite nice and it just puts a little bit more shade and, and tones through those areas um, also I've put them onto the little animals that are sitting on there as well so I've got uh, a W nine here and I'm just putting in some darker areas I have put a little bit onto the skull as well in the shadow areas there too and just inside the eye I have missed a section there because there is going to be a little bit of a highlight in there so I'll make that section a little bit lighter so I'm putting this on the little animals as well so now I've got um, W7 and I'm just blending this out nicely now and I've done a little bit more in the eye as well and brought this up I actually ran out of W7 while I was doing this one as well so I didn't have much luck <laughs> um, I've got W5 and I'm just going out a little bit further so this will take up a lot of the skull area and I'll just leave a few highlight areas for the lighter grays um, so I'm coming over the top of the darker grays and bringing that further out I'm also going to finish off the inside of the eye with this one as well 
So I've just swapped over to W3 and I'm just bringing it a little bit further out towards the highlight. I am going to finish it off with W2 uh, in the most highlighted sections there and later on I will go over it again just to deepen all those shadow areas up a bit more. I'm randomly putting dots of each color within the little gems that are sitting on top as well so um, you can see that I've just sort of dotted different grays through there as well to um, to sort of mix them in a little bit and I'm going to go over that with a highlight color of the white later on as well. So I've just finished it off with um, the W2 there and I've just brought in some E50 and some E31 and just stuck them into the little jewel things that are sitting on the head and also on the teeth there as well. So it's quite rough but um, I will go over it again just to bring in some more color uh, a little bit later. So I'm just going to start on the leaves uh, on the picture here. So I've got uh, the first color I'm using is G28 and I'm just doing the shadow areas for that. I'm going to mix that out with G09 and then I've got some G05 and G02 and I've just blended that to the edge there. I haven't put a lot of detail in, just really laying that color down. Now I'm going to start on these flowers down the bottom. Now you can uh, slow the video down if you like. There is the ability to do that um, through YouTube, so that that is good. Um, but I've used Y38 for the middle sections of these bottom flowers here. Um, the top flowers were a slightly different purple with some pinks through them, so I have done them sort of separate. Um, this bottom flower here, I'm just doing the outside edge and some of the middle sections with BV08 and just putting that color on around the edges there and as I said in the middle parts. I've left the little lines there in the middle of the flower. I'm going to come back in with V09 to put the little stripe, stripe, stripes I should say in there uh, with that were left there between the yellow and the BO, BV08. Um, I've just missed a little bit of BV08 in the bottom corner there. I'm going to just go over that as well. Um, also, then I'm going to bring in around that BV08, I'm bringing in BV13. And then over the top of the BV13, I'm going to use some BV11 uh, just to lighten up a few streaks through the middle there. So you can have a look at the leaves uh, once I do that there. So we're going to do the top one slightly different in color. So I'll just leave them and we'll move on to the face. So I'm just going to use some uh, Y35 and I'm just going to put this color into the top little skull on her forehead there. So because this is a painted on picture, um, or supposed to be a painted on picture on her face with makeup, I'm not going to put any shading or anything into this image. It's just filled in with color. So I've used uh, RV25 for the pinks and I've used YG25 for all the greens there. I'm using the uh, RV29 to outline the lips and put some shadow in. I'm blending it out with RV25 and then I've got RV23 and RV21. So I'm just going in and filling those areas out. I left a slight little section underneath her little bottom lip there which I'll do with some white later on as well. So we'll start uh, putting a little bit of color into the other flowers on the top here. I've got B39 to uh, deepen this color up because I wanted to be slightly different to just the BV08. So I'm putting this on now and then I'm going to go over the top of that color with the BV08 and make that nice and dark. So as I said, uh, if the video is too fast, just slow it down and watch it without the sound because it sounds really funny uh, if you don't turn the sound off. So I just put a little bit of that also on top of that top left flower. Uh, actually, I wasn't using BV08 to blend that out. I'm using V09, which is a little bit darker than that, to bring over the top. So you can see uh, now bringing that over the top, you'll be able to see in the final image that it actually is more purple. I've just blended that out a tiny little bit out towards the highlight color so that I can blend the next color quite easily. So now I've got BV08 and I'm going to blend that color out. So these ones are nice and dark. Some areas I just spread the color on. I don't worry about blending or anything like that. So I've got BV17 and I'm going a little bit further out now. 
You see I went over that section a couple of times on that leaf there just to make sure that that colour was nicely blended through. So I've got BV13 and I'm just going to go over the top again. So we're almost finished now to the end. I'm going to use BV11 and finish off that highlight area. Then I'm going to bring some pink through that one. So I've got RV63 to bring through and put some pink through that. So you can see that color quite well through there and it's quite a nice highlight and makes it, it gives it a little bit of different tones through there. So I'm going to do the face shadows. I've got W3, uh, W2 and W0 and I'm just going in and lining in all of the shadow areas on the white part. So I'm actually not going to do any color on the white part obviously because it is going to be left white. And I'm just blending that out now with those three colors. So just to give a little bit of shape and shade to the face because though you would be able to see a shadow still even though it is white. Put a little bit on the nose there as well to give it a little bit of shape. Blending it out now with the W0. And then I'll use some colorless blending uh, blender through it as well uh, just to make it nice and smooth between the transition between the white and the gray. So as you can see, it's starting to blend out really nicely and um, I've got it's nice and bright. The white areas are nice and bright now. Just make sure that you do uh, erase any of that uh, brown chalk that may have gone on to that as well. So I'm just uh, going over the skull and just deepening up some shadow areas and making this detail a little bit deeper. Um, so I've used a W9 here and I will go over it a little bit with what I had left of the W7 and W5 as well. And I'll blend it all the way out to the middle area. So W753 uh, and 2 I will use here. And I'm just going to lighten up those highlighted areas a little bit too because I'm going to put some white paint or white watercolor opaque paint on there anyway so I'll be able to bring those areas out and make them stand out nicely once I do that. So I'm just finishing it off just making it a little bit more neater and blending it through nicely there. So while you're going over things like this uh, you can add little details in like you'll notice that around the teeth there I've done some lines up to show indentations where the teeth are in and things like that. So you can add these details on a second layer um, just to make the picture a little bit more. So all it does is those little details just bring out the picture sometimes. So I just put in some E21 and into the little um, dual things that are sitting on the skull there as well. So I've got some Y17 and I'm coming over most of the area of this top uh, right hand flower. I have left some gaps where I want to put a brighter yellow. I'm going to blend a little bit of Y38 over the top of this to deepen up some of that color and put some shadows in. And then I'm going to bring in some YR colors just on the dots there to darken and deepen those up as well. So I'm just going over the shadow areas with Y38. So if you do have any questions, you can join our Facebook group. Uh, so you're welcome to come along to there. I'll put the link in the description there as well for you. Also too, if you're wanting to know a little bit more about uh, coloring, there are lots of online classes that you can do. I'm actually coming over this now with YR7 and I'm just deepening up the shadow areas with that one there. So there is Kitten Clatter, they do, uh, there's an elements, to, elements of Nature class which goes through flowers and things like that. I don't know if these particular flowers are in there but it does help you to um, see those things a little bit differently and teach you a little bit more about colour and things as well. So I've just gone over those little dots with W5 and I've just gone over the top of the W5 with some YR68 to fill that in. So I've made them a little bit darker um, than the rest of the flower and the W5 uh, helped to lay down that darker part there. So I'm coming into the hair now. Uh, I've just done it nice and quickly. I've just done some little lines here on all of the shadow areas using C9. So I'm just uh, popping those in now. So just little lines out towards a highlighted area and also filling out some of the eyebrows there as well. I'll leave that middle section for C7 just to blend that through a little bit. So just going over the whole head part here and going deep in the shadows and then I'm just using little lines out towards the highlighted area there. 
I'm going to fill in a few different colors into the gray to show reflections of uh, flowers and whatever else is going on around her uh, as well. So I'll go ahead and add some different colors through this gray as well. So just finishing off that C9 uh, and I'm going to put some C7 in over the top of that and bring it a little bit further out and then some C5. So I'll put the Kit and Clatter website in the description below as well there and um, I'll also put the link for Jasmine's Patreon uh, page there as well so you can uh, drop in and become a patron if you would like to color this image as well. So now I've got that C5 and I'm just going over the top of the C7 and just blending that a little bit further out. So I've mainly filled out most of the highlight section now. So I've just gone over lightly with C3 just in the highlight sections there because I'm going to go over those now with some different colors as well. So I'm going to use some of the colors that are in the background area. So I've got uh, BV17 to put some purples through. I want to put some yellows and orange and also some green through as well. So the next one I've got is Y38. And all I'm doing is just putting it uh, just a couple of lines through the highlight section. I'm not doing a lot or going over it a lot. Just a few little streaks through there. I've got the RV25 and I'm putting that in now. So it's giving it a nice coloured reflection. Just a couple of the bits, strands around the face there, so I've just filled those in. So I've got YG25, which I used um, in the top parts of her uh, pictures on the top of her head there. And then I'm just going to go over the top of that with some C2 just to blend it through nicely and finish it off. So I'm going to start on the eyes now. I'm going to use C3 to put the shadow areas in, in the eye and then I'm going to put some colour through there. So I've got R43 underneath the eyes and I'm blending it out with R20. And then I've got C1 to blend out that shadow area on the whites of the eyes a bit more. And I've also put a little bit on the bubble on the top there. I've used B000 to blend out that bubble on the top. And then I've used some 0 to just blend out or colourless blender to blend that colour out. I'm using Y15 on these areas here just to put some highlight colour behind it. I then put E97 and E99 into the shadow parts. So you can sort of see the highlight coming through there. I've gone over that with YR68 to deepen the colour up and then I've come over that with the uh, Y15 again. So I've just put some grey through onto the middle part of the eye there, some uh, C5 and just using the black now to deepen up these uh, black areas because some of the ink had actually rubbed off from using the eraser so I've just filled those in. Also you can see the little dots around the eye, yellow parts of the eye there. I'm going to fill them out with the colour I used in the top skull which was uh, Y35 and just pop little dots of yellow around there as well to finish that part off there. Um, so I'm going to use some white uh, contrast on the eyes there to bring out those highlights and things like that a little bit more as well. So I think I've just got one more thing to do in there which is this top flower. I'm going to do that the same as I did that uh, the ones that are just below that there. So I've got the B39 and I'm filling out around that area there and then I'm going over that with V09 and then I'm going to blend that out with v BV08 and then BV17. And then I've just got BV13 and BV11. And um, I'm going to go over the top of the highlighted sections there with that, uh, the uh, V63 there. Sorry, I've just lost my train of thought. So I'm just going to go in and put in some highlights. So you can do the same uh, highlights that I'm doing. I'm using that uh, white uh, watercolor opaque paint there. And I'm just putting in some highlights. And some of them I've just spread out with that um, cotton bud there to make them a little bit smoother. And then some of them I've just left quite bright. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off now. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial today and um, that you uh, popped through it quite quickly like I did. I didn't use a lot of colors, uh, which was really good. It was quite easy to put together there. And as I said, I used Jasmine's original image as um, inspiration so I had already uh, color inspiration and things like that there which helps uh, when you're doing an image to already know what what you're kind of looking for um, and what colors you're going for so I'm making sure I put in these contrasting uh, colors all over I will put little bits of, of highlights throughout the whole picture I'm going to put some on the flowers and in the eyes and things like that as well 
Um, so if you have any questions, as I said, just ask. I'll pop some links in the description below. Please have a read of them. And um, I think that's everything I've got there for you today. Um, so I'll just finish this white off now. And um, uh, my paint palette there is all my watercolour pens that I've been using and playing with there. Um, but just using the white now. So guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, also too, in the last video that I did, I did introduce myself and gave everyone a little wave um, to show my face behind my hands there. Uh, so if you wanted to check that out, you can have a look at that. It's a Hannah Calzone image that I've uh, finished a couple of days ago. So um, as I finish up here, please subscribe as I said again and um, make sure you share the video for people who might be interested in learning more about colouring. Thanks guys and um, see you next time.